Hey guys, welcome back to Income Stream Surfers. I've done it, I've cracked the code, I have completed my task on this earth, which is to bring you this insane keyword method for Merch by Amazon, for KDP, for Etsy, and for Redbubble. So I'm gonna click on Redbubble questions on my website. I will leave this link in the description and I'm going to go on a masterclass to finding low composition keywords. This is an article I very quickly wrote and the idea behind this article is to explain the process and you can find this in the description but I want to focus on this table here which I took directly from a spreadsheet. It's split into four platforms, Merch by Amazon, Amazon KDP, Etsy and Redbubble. Let me show you first of all which what each search operator does. So if I just copy and paste this onto Google, as you can see, this now gives me Merch by Amazon ideas, keywords that we can scroll through. But I'm going to show you how we can get all of these keywords onto a document very, very soon. The second one is Amazon KDP. As you can see here, 1,450 results for a planner. But the really cool thing that I've done is I've also included other keywords that you can put on Amazon KDP and Merch by Amazon. So I got all of the items that are available by Merch by Amazon and I put them in the other keyword section of the table. And I did the same thing with Amazon KDP. I just used my brain basically. And you can add to this yourself. These are low content ones, but as you can see, there are 1,450 Amazon search result pages that have one to 900 results, okay? And there's a way to get all of these keywords in order of date. So before I show you, let me just show you the Etsy one, just in case you're interested in Etsy. You can replace in title shirt with whatever you sell, literally whatever you sell, cards, framed pictures, etc., etc. And then Redbubble is the final one, siderebubble.com in your URL shop, minus people, in text, one to the 900 results. 1,700, 900 results, okay? 179,000 potential keywords. So now I'm gonna go on to scale SERP or scaleserp yeah scaleserp.com I click here and then I'm gonna go on dashboard because I already have an account and this is all you have to do you just copy and paste one of these search operators into the query section and then you click location you can choose any location if you want to focus on a different language then just choose a different language it's really obvious we're going to put the last year and then we're going to sort by date. That's a really, really important part. And then output, I'm going to click on CSV, choose CSV fields, scroll down, select none and only select the title and press OK. Page one, number of results 100. Once you have the first 100, you can change this to page two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. And then send API request. This will take a while to load. Okay, so that didn't actually have that many results. So I've just changed the time period to a custom one and I've put the minimum time on 2017 and the maximum time on today's date. Hopefully that will give me more results. Okay, so as you can see, we have a lot more organic results now. And then the idea is to take all of these results like that and put them into a spreadsheet and then go on here and do number two and then send API request again. I'm just showing you guys how to get as many keywords as possible for free. Um, so I'm just gonna show you yeah, how to do that and then how to clean this as well. Okay, so that is the second set. So now that's 200 keywords. You can probably tell that a lot of these are copyright. So just stay completely clear of any copyright keywords at all. Um, I think that in terms of um, search operators. I think the Amazon KDP one is actually one of the best because this was working really, well, really, 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 really well before. So I'll just get ones for those while I show you how to clean the document. All you want to do is click here and then do Control F and click click these three buttons and then do Find and then let's first of all just get rid of all the um, quotation marks. So just write quotation mark and then replace all. And then we're also going to get rid of t-shirt and replace all. And then we're going to get rid of uh, t-shirt. And we're going to get rid of uh, the um, hyphen. And we're finally going to get rid of amazon.com. Replace all, just like that. 
These are now pretty much all keywords, as you can see some of them haven't worked properly. But these are all keywords that you can then put into some kind of keyword tool if you have access to a paid one. I don't really know about free ones if they work very well, but if you want to use Ahrefs for example, it works very, very, very well for this. But the reason that I like this so much is because it has keywords in it that you won't find on keyword tools and that are emerging trends right now. So if I open these two uh, pages here, 66 results and 277, 275 results on uh, Etsy. But if I actually click here, you can see that it says shirt here, it says poster here, mug, sign, socks, etc. When you see these kind of keywords, you know that people are searching to buy these things so you can kind of see how this keyword method works so damn well. Okay, you can see this keyword here. Um, it seems to be quite competitive on Amazon. I don't know why there are so many results. Let's have a look at Etsy. Yeah, it seems to be quite a competitive keyword. I guess it's already happened, this kind of explosion. So I'm, I'm stopping here. Um, but the idea is that you just do this as many times as you can and you will have loads of keywords by the end of it and then you can just remove all of the other text that is unnecessary and replace or not even replace and then you can take these keywords here and you can run them all at the same time through Ahrefs which will then allow you to understand which have buyer keywords and which are popular and etc etc i love these kind of keywords i think they work really really well um, and it really depends how competitive they are it does seem that amazon is quite competitive and also etsy is quite competitive as well okay i don't know if this is copyright but if this is not copyright then this is a really really good keyword i'm just going to very quickly go on trade market and I'm going to check whether this is copyright and if not then this is a really really good one doesn't seem to be let's check shirts as well nope okay it's not copyright it's got 117 it's only got 52 results on on Amazon I think this is probably one of the best keywords I've ever seen let's have a look if it exists on Redbubble probably only 84 results again. So like I said, guys, you can definitely find some really interesting things here. The final thing I wanna do is I wanna show you just how good the keywords are from Amazon, my Amazon KDP. For example, homework planner, if I go on Google, homework planner, Amazon, and then it's only got 410, or 575. I know people always tell me I need to click the button, but if you, if I need to make it so it delivers to the United States. But if you look here, this number is accurate. This is their global number. It's only when I click here and I have the filter to deliver to my hometown in England that it says that there are only 410 results. There are actually 575, but I still think that's really, really easy, easy to rank for. And some of these have a lot of sales. And these are mainly Amazon KDP which are really, really easy to make. And I have some videos talking about how to make journals, planners, and all these other keywords that you can see on my article. So tracker, planner, diary, journal, log, notebook, puzzle book, activity book, register. Already I've found things like dream journals, so dream journal, which on Amazon, it really doesn't have that many results, okay? So you might expect, oh, okay, it has 70,000. When I checked this before, it definitely did not have 70,000 results. Yeah, so for some reason, if I go here and it says Dream Journal 76 results, and then 79 here, that's kind of, I don't really know what's going on there. But yeah, you get the idea, guys, and I hope this helps you out. I hope um, this is just the beginning of my uh, series using this new method. But I'm really, really excited. Another thing we can do if you don't really want to sign up to that thing is you can just go to your settings on Google itself and click on see all settings and put your results per page to 100 and then just go down and press save and then that means when you do the site rebel.com or whatever you have a lot more results per page which is really really useful for people just wanting to have a quick look and to do the research themselves. 
I'll see you soon with some more content and peace out.